So today we're going to learn how to type in pinyin for Windows 7. The first thing we need to do is add our keyboard. So click on your Windows Start logo, go to Control Panel, and then you'll see Clock, Language, and Region. Select that, and then click on Change Keyboards. Click Add. Scroll down until you get to Chinese. And there will be a lot of choices there, but we need the simplified PRC version, or People's Republic of China. Click on Keyboard. For this, you want the Pinyin New Experience input. You may be wondering why we chose the simplified character keyboard rather than traditional, and that's because that's most commonly used in mainland China, and it's also easier to learn because it's got fewer strokes, while the traditional keyboard is typically used in Taiwan. Now that we've added that, we do need to change a couple other settings, so select the keyboard, go to Properties, click on Advanced. And here, just make sure that you've got full pinyin selected. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click OK. Make sure to hit Apply and then OK. And now you've got the keyboard set up, and we can practice some typing. Don't forget to change your input in the bottom right corner to Chinese Simplified. So for this one, let's type ni hao, and I also recommend typing the whole word with no spaces. You'll see the character list appear, and at this point, it'll be helpful for you to be able to recognize basic characters. The nice thing about the character list is it does show characters in order of how frequently they are used. So in order to select those characters, you can just press the number one on your keyboard, or you can click on the character directly. So let's do another one. Let's do han yi. So again, I'll type out the whole word. Now I can hit one, and I have Han Yu and Ni Hao here. In Mandarin, some words are spelled using the U umlaut, and since we don't have that on our standard keyboards, the shortcut in typing is using the letter V instead. Let's do an example. So if I type in Nu Shi with the letter U, it brings up a set of characters, but none of them are the right characters for Miss. So instead, what I'll do is type in NV, and now I do have the right one. So you can see the differences here. The only time this rule doesn't apply is for the letters J, Q, X, and Y, because those letters will never be followed by a U with an umlaut. Now that you've got your keyboard set up and ready to go on Windows 7, and you know the typing tricks, you're all ready to practice. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Do you like our video? Did you learn anything fun? Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates. And be sure to leave your comments below. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, one of the best ways to practice is to go into the Mango course to form new sentences and new thoughts. Click the link on your screen to try it out.